back, we've been looking at some summer camp alternatives with our series Camp from the Couch. But this morning, something a little different. The other day, my wife Lindsay and I, we played camp counselors, spending an afternoon making crafts with the kids. Her specialty. Then I showed her my expertise, cocktails. Since sheltering in place, my wife Lindsay has really kept the kids entertained with countless creative art projects. You've always been into crafts. I've, um, well, Crafty. Cra thank you, thank you. I've always loved, I love art. And so that was something I studied in school. That's definitely part of it for me because I find that that's my like happy place. This has given me a new reason to have to try different things out on, on different members of my family. It's been a lot of fun for everyone. <laughs> Today's canvas, a rock. We started finding these painted rocks that were popping up in our town, and some had special messages on them, and they were laying them down on the ground for people to see and sort of smile uh, when this pandemic really began. So we decided that we would get in on the act, and it's a really fun art project. We went searching in our neighborhood. The rounded ones are the best. We found these at the beach and along the, um, the road where we live. So we went out, collected a bunch of rocks, and then the very first step is you paint your rock white. So it's important to paint your rock white in the beginning because then it makes all the colors pop that you put on top of it. Lindsay taught us to paint them white ahead of time, and acrylic paint works best. But you have to be careful because it doesn't come out of the clothes so easy. My mom is right. I got paint on my pants. I got paint on the side of my shirt. You did? After you get your rock beautifully painted, and you can do any design, write words, make polka dots, whatever works, but the final step is to use an acrylic varnish, which is just basically a simple seal. And once you put that on, it will dry and your paint won't chip and your rock is done and it can withstand rain or anything out in the elements. I was gonna do a yellow one. Ooh, that's beautiful, son. Yeah, I'm beautiful too. Always, son. Always beautiful. So, Guys, these look great! The best part? The fun part is distributing the rocks. What are you going to do with the rocks? We're going to put them on top to make people smile. Oh, that's a surprise rock. Okay. I'm going to put the orange rocks on my seats. Oh, that's a perfect idea. From painting rocks to on the rocks. It's no secret I enjoy occasionally crafting a cocktail. I like the process. I, I like being able to, to take raw ingredients and, and, and bring them together to create something unique and then sipping and enjoying. And it's like, oh, this is, this is good, I made that. I would say cocktails are probably also like golf for you. You can't think of much else when you're muddling. You gotta focus. Or mixing. I love a good muddle. Hey bartender, what you got? So now it was time for me to take over as counselor. All you need, you need your, your bourbon of course. And give us grown ups a little lesson in mixing. You can use an assortment of frozen berries, raspberries. Blueberries work really well, too. You can use peaches if you want, or something, but it gets a little messier. You'll need some mint, a lime, or a lemon. You'll need some simple syrup. It's easy Ooh. to make. You made this? I did. How do you make simple syrup? Equal parts water, equal parts sugar. Just bring it to a boil, let it cool. When it's done, you've got your syrup. You may not be able to do kind things. Of sexy. You may not be able to do other things around the house, but I can make simple syrup. So you just want eight to ten leaves, by the way, of mint. One, two, so three, four. It's a perfect uh, summer drink. We're gonna use a lemon. There you go. All right. So you've got your lemon in there. You've got your mint. Now we're gonna take just a handful of the frozen fruit. Here's what we're gonna do. Get it all in there together. Nice soft mug. There you go. Oh, that's good. You gotta get your simple syrup in. Not too much then. All right. Filled our shaker with ice. I don't know why I make that face. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Look at this color. Yeah. You want that to melt down a little bit, by the way. You want that to melt down a little bit. You can use a shorter glass. No, 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 I'm good with it. It's no, just, it looks a like a Slurpee. Mm. There you go. It's a bourbon smash. And then we've got our mint left over for some garnish. Oh, that's beautiful. It's all about presentation, right? Cheers. Yeah, that was fun. 